There's the number one in the world, Rory McIlroy. Your attention, please. This is match number three, a singles match between the European team represented by Rory McIlroy. against the United States of America team, represented by Keegan Bradley. First on the team, representing Europe, Rory McElroy. Phil Nicholson and he just has the air of a player who's going to be playing Ryder Cup golf for many years to come Keegan Bradley he has won a major and he said in the paper yesterday that day one with Phil Mickelson was the greatest day in his golfing life. He's got it sorted out out of the television cables. He's actually got a very good line in here from 129 yards. Trees in front, but he can get over those. It's not a problem. remember Sandy Lyle saying you know he often didn't warm up before going out I said well how can you do that he said just look at the ball a little harder let me know you love it love he's, love he's gone from a sand wedge to his pitching wedge just trying to keep a little three-quarter shot keep it down low yes yeah, so he was looking up at the flag right up on top of the, the TV crate he's kind of saying don't worry you won't get it that high position of McElroy but from 104 yards that wasn't his best McElroy little chip like Polzer had at the first third shot here is Bradley on the first for the birdie and the win. Can't be aggressive on this. Very quick off the right. It's just a little soft. Good try though. Good putt and that will be conceded. Match all square. Story. He was late arriving this morning, got his, got his clock wrong, looking at Easter time, it's going to take him a few holes, not to get his swing right, but to settle down. He won't be settled yet. And Keegan Bradley. Two. 
It's just exceptional from McElroy. Beautiful touch. The second, Rory McElroy, this for his par. Had a lovely little chip from a difficult spot. Yep, good three. <laughs> now Bradley on the second, this for the half. Wonderful chip he played from over the green. Right edge. Well done. Two good threes in the second there for Bradley McElroy. They remain all square. Well, McElroy first to go at the third, having hit a three wood off the tee to leave himself well, probably just maybe even a long wedge, but certainly no more than a sandwich. Downwind to a front flag. Good line in, good line just in the semi. Three greens missed by McElroy. Keegan Bradley hit driver, was trying to drive the green. He might well have done it too if he hadn't hooked it into the trees. He was going well into the crowd, but it came off yes. an oak tree and has come out now to a very playable position. It was still a 325-yard drive, even hitting the trees. Just 75 yards left. And arguably, this is a bit close. It's very much a field shot because it's pretty good strong wind blowing straight down the hole now. Just hit it too hard, he's gone over that hill. It's only 20 feet, but it's a difficult one. Quickly to Michael Roy, the third. For Rory McElroy. Almost identical putt coming up from Keegan Bradley. <laughs> Bradley, this for a half with McElroy. Advantage second shot into the 463 yard fourth into wind to a raised green coming in from just the right side. Beautiful drive. After, well, he went first, and then King Bradley, having hooked his tee shot on the previous hole, has pushed this one into the trees and again has come out. Not right out, but enough to have a shot. Okay, good. is into wind, which gives him a better chance of getting at it. Get in the water! <laughs> oh, he's just missed the water. And absolutely perfect, about 10 feet. left for Bradley. <coughs> Overhanging branches mean he's got to keep this a bit lower than he'd want to. It's definitely coming in from the wrong side with the flag over on the right-hand side. It's quite an awkward shot to get it close. In fact, it's a very awkward shot to get it close. We're probably going to have to knock it into the shoulder from the green to get it close.
Well, this is an extremely difficult shot for Bally. The ball is plugged in the bunker on the short side, so he's got to try and use the fringe to slow it down. It's going to come out with topspin. I'm going to go racing across the green. Probably try and land it just on, on the top of the bank. No, no shot. We saw Pilter in exactly the same plug lie. He did the same thing. Not quite as near as Bradley's hit it, but huge advantage here for McElroy. Bradley for his four. McElroy still with a shorter putt for a birdie. He's not, he has conceded, of course he's conceded. Two putts from 12 feet for world number one, I think he can handle that. <laughs> so McElroy goes one up on Bradley. McElroy go first out of the bunker on the fifth and the chance on the crowd are central time zone. They're not going to let him off lightly. I think he's probably got slightly the easier shot here, a bit more of an angle. Central time zone. I've had too many humorous chants this week. Well, that's okay. Humor is good. Get in the water and get in the trap are not good. Not doing him any harm though, Doogie. One under through five now. No, I agree with you. Humor is definitely good, and, and Rory will enjoy that too. A bit more sand to cover and a bit less green to play with here for Bradley. He's got a nice flat lie. He's been a bit lucky with the bounces so far, both off the tee and into the green. Got to take advantage of it. Normally pretty good out of sand, 24th in the PGA statistics in terms of getting it up and down. It's not been kind to him so far in the singles match, though. McRoy, of course, in for the four this for a half, then for Bradley at the fifth. His sand saves. Maybe not so good out of the sand, but he's a very fine putter. He's used that wand of his to good effect this week. Michael Roy, what the hell at six? Tee shot. Question whether he can control it coming out of that semi right there, He's definitely got a few of the balls going right. A lot of right shoulder in his swing at the moment. Extremely difficult putt. Uphill across the ridge, then very fast down to the hole. Double breaking putt. And some. Michael Wright. Wind gusting strongly. Oh, this is beautifully judged. It's going in. And that's the third chip in by the Europeans this morning. Ian Poulter did it, Paul Laurie did it, and now Rory McIlroy has done it. How about that? 
And more evidence that they're beginning to believe that they're getting the run of the ball. This is exactly what Olafarbel wanted to see his men doing. Oh, that is right in the middle of the hole, too. And he has come alive, Rory. He's been a bit quiet for the last three sessions. He got off to a great start on the opening morning. Since then, he's lacked a bit of passion, but it's all coming out now. Pretty good effort from Keegan Bradley to go as close to this seventh green as he has. He had 296 yards. He was comfortably outdriven by McElroy, who's in the front right bunker. But he's got a chance, he's well below the green. Quite difficult, to, well, he can't see his target, he can see the flag, but he can't see the surface of the green. But he has got plenty of green to work with, albeit a fairly undulating green. McElroy is certainly a better place than the bunker. Seems a very edgy character with that routine that he goes through where he goes backwards and forwards. Rather reminiscent of a, a pole vaulter. These greens are so fast. They reckon yesterday they were up around the 14, and I think they're probably as fast today. But with the combination of the sun on them and the wind as well, any moisture in there is going to go pretty quickly. McElroy, good lie in the bunker, plenty of green to work with. We won't get too much spin out of here, that seems to be the problem. We'll try and land it a bit short of the flag. Oh! Got a lot of height with that bunker shot. It's beautifully played. Classic match play situation here. Bradley with a longer putt. If he can make his, then McElroy's becomes a whole lot more difficult. And his putting has been absolutely lethal. It's extraordinary the footage that he makes. Great thing is these greens are so pure. If you read it right and hit it right, it goes in. spin that would have been for a fourth Hall's going to be hard but he will stay two up no, back for right second to nine just a three-quarter wedge oh delicious delicious shot from back <laughs> So McElroy shot into about four feet. Leaning left generally means it's a little right. That's a great shot. Very good, Matt, from uh, Bradley there. Is his birdie putt on the ninth, so McElroy will have a chance from half the distance to make his birdie and win the hole. He hasn't tasted the defeat yet, Bradley. Oh, McElroy with a putt that doesn't look far off straight. I think, if anything, it might be a touch right to left. Doesn't need much hitting, that's for sure downhill just been looking at everything himself so far and has been reading them pretty well hasn't used JP I think the X 
extra hour in bed did him a lot of good. May have been late arriving, but he's two up through nine. Back right, bunker shot. Difficult one off the upslope, got to carry this all the way to the hole. Just a fraction more, not too bad. No, he's got a pretty tight lie on hard ground when he really needs some height. And if anything, the wind is helping the shot as well. He's going to have to land it in the fringe grass, I think, if he's to have any hope of getting it close. McElroy in about eight feet, straight up the hill. He'll actually do well to get this on the green here if he tries to be too aggressive. Anyway, let's see. Here he goes. When you say, here he goes, eventually... I should have said again. Again. Just could not have played better. You stand there for an hour and not play it better than that. Fantastic shot there from Bradley. Always difficult when you got a pitcher in. McElroy for the four on ten. No, he knew immediately he struck that. That was on the wrong line. Annoyed with himself. A bit unlucky with the second shot. Landed right in the face of the bunker and actually rolled back to where he saw him play out of the sand. Although McElroy had the longer putt, I thought he probably had the easier one uphill. This is a nasty one across the hill left to right. But it'll be a heck of an up and down. And McElroy must, I'm sure, know that this is going to go all the way unless he does something very special. Bradley, such a fighter. The tighter it gets, the better he'll get. Deserved win against McElroy on that uh, hole. Here's McElroy. 161 to go. Let's go, Keegan! Yeah. Oh, no! Bradley again very undecided about this short shot. He took it on with the drive, got it round the corner. Only 104 yards left. And with McElroy in some trouble, a great chance for him to square the match with a good one here. Quite a strong breeze off the right. <laughs> Loaded with spin that one. Keegan Bradley with a chance to win the 11th against Rory McElroy. But it's not easy up and over the ridge. He'll come round now. Never done it, I think. McElroy needs this for half at 11. And makes it. 
Doogie, that's one of the best up and downs you'll see all week. He had to chip that ball into the rough. He had no green, nothing to work with. And he stays one up. And so important. feed down from left to right so he had to cut this one in started on the good line if he's cutting it no staying left a little bit unlucky in this hole Rory. third shot for McElroy at 12 edge of the green McElroy's hit a very poor chip down the green left it 20 feet away makes it much easier for Bradley here not easy to get it stone dead though oh. they certainly give it a lot of magnificent back there from Bradley Pop for McElroy here, this for the half. This to remain one up. So they go all square. And they now go to that incredible tie 3 13. Is it right? Oh, it sure is. What a fantastic shot from the world number one. <sighs> oh, this is fantastic, Sam, isn't it? Doesn't get any better. It sure doesn't, Diggy. Keegan Bradley. Just from the back of the 13th. to the par 5, 14th in his match against Rory. He's lost another one away to the right. And well, could be right behind the tree there. McElroy, big shot needed from the world number one. Finish, he likes it. Balance good there. So unlucky. This is the, the 12th Ryder Cup I've been to, and I honestly don't think I've seen so many people on the course. It's astonishing. And they're buoyant. You just feel as though the pendulum might be swinging a little bit at the moment. Right through the bunker. 
stuck in the sand. Made one wonderful up and down at 10, but that would have been really finding something very special to get that on the green. You'd expect to knock this close. In fact, he's looking at the flag without a doubt, looking at the hole. Today, Rory McIlroy, a really good touch there. Committed himself to the strike. Well, it would be a killer blow and typical of Bradley if he can knock this one in. And really, McElroy's been looking favourite to win the hole since the second shot. McElroy's game has definitely gone off a little bit since the turn, only a little bit. That was well played from an awkward line. Bradley has to make this one to have a chance of a half. So McElroy, who's never been behind in this match, has been two up, has got the chance to go one up again with this one. In normal circumstances, piece of cake. He's deciding not to go for it as well. He's going to lay it up. That pin cut over on the left side just doesn't really give them much of a chance. No bailout area. So that is the sensible option. Take enormous courage to go at that green today. Keegan Bradley has decided he's going to have a go. He's one down, four to play. Risky. Crazy oh, no. Doesn't oh. like it. Doesn't like it at all. Keegan Bradley's in a pretty horrible line, a pretty horrible situation, so McElroy doesn't have to do anything too bold here. The last thing he wants to do is go over the back into the bunker. He's only got 83 yards left, so I'm sure, especially coming in downwind, he's going to be a little bit on the shy side here. He doesn't know, of course, where Bradley is exactly. Zip on it, check. Well, that was just absolutely brilliant. Bradley in trouble at 15, looking for a miracle shot. He might just have played it. Oh, what a fabulous recovery. He'll still need to hold the putt. Now that was a fabulous golf shot. I have a feeling that Bradley's going to make this. And maybe, just for the first time, that's a misread from Bradley. Yeah. He 
equally big hole for Europe, though. Yeah, the McElroy two up and three to play. Sixteen, two up, three to play. Keegan Bradley. Well, no, no, no. Debut, but two down to McElroy. Doesn't make it an easy second shot. He may well be blocked out by some overhanging branches. Bradley over on the right hand side of the 16th. On a slide upslope. Can't see the flag. Come on, we go! Tail on the right. Oh, Get it. Right. Get it. Oh. Good shot, but on the lower level. Finds the heart of the green, depends where McElroy is. He was in the left hand trees off the tee. And this is McElroy's fourth shot, so this has to go in for par. He's two up. Three to go. Bradley's on the green pretty good. So he'll have two putts to win the hole, Bradley, and get it back to one. All sorts of confusion with the happenings of Rory McElroy in 16. We're actually hearing that the putt was his third. Bradley has this to win the hole, though. Oh, it looks so good. You're definitely right, Warren, because Mc McElroy's put the good ball back. down. He wouldn't be putting if it was for five. Big, big putt here. For Rory McElroy, it's to halve the hole. Oh, brilliant. Seems to just brush that one in. Like it was the monthly medal. Ah, here we go. Sergio Garcia, 17th tee. McElroy, I'm so sorry. Must put it on the green. No heroics, the flag's going down the line, so it's straight. Is the distance good? Oh, it sure is! What a shot from McElroy. Two up, two to play. Thank you, Bradley. 3-0 this week, won three matches. He ain't going to win this one. He can have it. Doesn't like it. Oh, what a break. What a break that is. Well, I'll give him an opportunity. A little lucky. But you need luck in this game. McElroy up ahead on 17. Going for the birdie. Ahead of Bradley to win the match. Keegan Bradley needs this to win the hole to keep the match alive. No sides, another point for Europe. McElroy wins two and one, the first loss for Keegan Bradley. And a fantastic singles win for the number one in the world. To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.